solving simultaneous equations. If we look at the following two equations, these are simultaneous equations. This means that the two unknowns are variables, so x and y have the same value in each equation. If we looked at each equation separately, there are many values for x and y which will satisfy the equation. For example, in the first one, x could be 4 and y could be 2, which would give us 4 plus 2 equals 6, or x could be 3 and y could be 3, which would give us 3 plus 3 equals 6. Similarly, for the second equation, many values for x and y will satisfy this equation. x equals 5 and y equals 13 will give us 3 by 5 is 15 minus 13 equals 2, or x is 2 and y is 4 will give us 3 by 2 is 6 minus 4 equals 2. However, there is only one set of values for x and y that will satisfy both equations at the same time. The method for finding these values is called solving simultaneous equations, in other words, solving two equations at the same time. The first step to do this is to get the same coefficients for either x or y. So coefficient is the number multiplied by the variable. So in our first equation, the x coefficient is the number multiplied by x, so in this case, 1. If you look at both our equations, the y coefficients are the same, because the y coefficients in both cases is 1. The next thing we need to do is we make sure the chosen coefficients have opposite signs. So in our equations, the first one, y has a plus sign, and in the second one, the y coefficient has a minus sign. So now we add the two equations together and solve for x. So 1x and 3x will give us 4x, plus 1y minus 1y will give us 0, and 6 plus 2 will give us 8. So now we have 4x equals 8. So to get x by itself on one side of the equal sign, we need to divide both sides by 4. So 4x divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. 4 and 4 goes once, 4 and 4 goes once, 4 and 4 goes once, 4 and 8 goes twice. So now x equals 2. Now that we have a value for x, we replace the x value in one of our equations to find y. So if we look at our first equation, 1x plus 1y equals 6. Our x value is 2, so we replace x with 2. So now we're left with 2 plus 1y equals 6. So we subtract 2 from both sides. So now we have 2 minus 2 is 0, so we've got plus 1y on the left hand side, and 6 minus 2 will give us 4. So we're left with y equals 4. So now we have a value for x and y, so our solution set is 2, 4. So let's try another example. 3a plus 2b equals 14, and 4a plus 1b equals 12. Again, our first step is we get the same coefficients for either a or b. Okay, so in this case, we can have the same b coefficient if we multiply the second equation by 2. Remember, if we're multiplying the b by 2, we need to multiply the whole equation by 2. So we're going to have 2 by 4a will give us 8a, 2 by 1b will give us 2b, and 2 by 12 will give us 24. Now our second step is, we make sure the chosen coefficients have opposite signs. So in this case, they don't have opposite signs. So what we need to do is we need to multiply one of our equations by minus 1. So we're going to multiply our second equation by minus 1. Minus 1 by 8a will give us minus 8a. Minus 1 by 2b will give us minus 2b. And minus 1 by 24 will give us minus 24. Now we add the two equations together and solve for a. So 3a minus 8a will give us minus 5a. Plus 2b minus 2b will give us 0. And 14 minus 24 will give us minus 10. We're left with minus 5a equals minus 10. So we divide both sides by 5. So minus 5a divided by 5. And minus 10 divided by 5. 
5 5 goes once, 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 10 goes twice. So we're left with minus a equals minus 2. So now we need to get plus a, so we divide both sides by minus 1. So minus a divided by minus 1, and minus 2 divided by minus 1. So we're left with a equals now we replace the a value in one of our equations to solve for b. So if we take our first equation, 3a plus 2b equals 14. So we're going to replace the a with our new value, which is 2. So we have 3 by 2 is 6, plus 2b equals 14. So we subtract 6 on both sides. 6 minus 6 plus 2b equals 14 minus 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2b equals 8. So divide both sides by 2. 2b divided by 2 equals 8 divided by 2. 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 8 goes 4 times. So we're left with b equals 4. So our solution session, this example is 2.